Hey Jiu Squad, welcome back to the episode of Is It Worth It? So for today's episode, it's a cool myth about right here and basically what this is, is a digital alarm clock that's been used to check your time. And you guys also set like alarm on here and there's also a lot of other functionality as well. But we got two different colors right here. Let me actually open both of them to show you guys what it looks like first. All right. So when you guys first open up, you guys can see it's well protected. Let's take off that layer first. All right, so when you take off that layer right there, you can see that that is basically what the product looks like. So they do probably got the cable right here, which is USB to micro USB. And right here, they do probably have the user manual to teach you guys how to use the product. And then last but not least, we have the actual product right here. And that is basically everything that's inside this package right here. So let's take this out first and show you guys what the product looks like. So when we take it out, you guys can see that this is basically what the product looks like. So right here is the display screen. Here's some timer options. And top part right here is the snooze button. If you take a look at the back part right here, you guys can see there's a bunch of stuff right here. So you guys have a volume up and volume down button. You guys do have a charging cable option. So it's actually plugged in like a USB to charge your, like your phone or something. Right here we have a micro USB slot. So it's actually plugged in the cable to recharge the product. Right here we have a aux output. And then right here we have a on and off button. Right here we have option to turn the timer option to 12 hours or 24 hour time. And right here we do have a Celsius and Fahrenheit changing option. So press that button to change from Celsius to Fahrenheit. And then right here we do have a reset button. And obviously for this cable right here, it is for the radio station. And right here we have the speakers and use that for the radio station and the alarm clock as well. And the bottom right here, you see there's a slot right here. Let's open up and see what's inside. All right. So inside they do have a battery that's included inside right here. So if you guys need to replace the batteries and get that battery there. So for this product, you can also use it wireless as well. So the way how you guys turn on the product is using this switch right here. So we push it. You guys can see that turns on, but the brightness is not that bright. So it's kind of hard for me to show you guys the time right there, but this is the brightest it can go. So the way how you guys adjust the brightness on here is by pressing and holding this button right here. So you can see it turns off. So if we press it again, it turns it on, but you guys can't really see it. So that is the lowest brightening setting. If we press it again, that's medium. Press it one more time. That's high. So there's an off option, there's a low setting, there's a medium setting, and there's a high setting for the brightness level on here. And on this product, they tell you guys like the date on here, the temperature, and also like your alarm, if you guys do set an alarm on here. So obviously you can't see it too well right now, so I definitely have to bring in darker setting to give you guys a better view of the product. But this is basically what the product looks like for the white one right here. Let me open the other one and show you guys what the black one looks like. All right, so right here we have the black one. When you guys open it up, same thing inside. You do have the protection layer right here. And then you guys also get the same thing as well. So you get the instruction manual right here. You guys get the charging cable right here. And then right here we have the product. So imagine just take out the product first and you guys saw everything else already. All right, so when we take it out, you can see that this is basically what the product looks like. So you basically get everything the same, the alarm setting right here, the snooze button and brightness level button right here. And everything in the back is all the same. And the bottom is the same thing as well. We just can put the battery inside right here, which is already included. And if you guys want to activate it, just turn it on like that. So this is basically what both product looks like. They can't really see the time on here too well because it's kind of bright right now. So I think this actually performs a lot better when it's darker. But when you guys look at that angle right there, you can definitely see everything on here in terms of the time, the date, the temperature, everything is all right here. So then both of them are the same thing. I'm just gonna show you guys one of them. So if you guys want to set like the alarm on here, you can press all these buttons right here. If you guys ever forget about how to use these, you guys can always refer to the instruction manual. One of the cool things about this product is the fact that it does have a white noise machine that's built on the product. Let me show you guys how to use it. So you basically want to press this button right here first to turn on the radio station. And you guys can change the radio station by using this button right here on top. If you guys want to use the music option, the white noise option, you guys want to press it again. All right, so you see the radio station works and also the white noise option as well. So there should be a total of 12 different sounds on here if you guys do want to use the white noise option. If you guys have a like kids or whatever, then this is actually really useful in that scenario. All right, so I press it one time. You can see that it allows us to change the time right here. So you can adjust it by using the switch right here to adjust the time to what you guys need. When you guys are done, press it again. And go to the next option and adjust that as well. So just like that, press it again. And now you guys can actually adjust like the year on here. If you guys press it again, you guys can change the date and the months on here in the bottom and see it blinking right there. 
If you guys press again, it goes here. If you press it one more time, then you guys are all set. So for this product, you guys actually use it wireless. You want to know how long the battery will last on here. So if you guys only use it as a clock and nothing else, you can get roughly around 11 hours of usage on here. But if you guys are using the product to play like music, like the white noise and everything, if it's not plugged in, you guys can get up to eight hours of usage. And if you guys want to use the radio station, you can get up to three hours of usage on the product when it's not plugged in. And it takes roughly around one and a half hour to fully charge the product from zero to 100. But obviously if you guys keep the cable plugged in, then you guys don't have to worry about the battery life on here because the product will always be charged and obviously if you guys want to adjust the volume setting on here you can press this button right here or this switch right here so let me show you guys how it works all right so you definitely see it actually does work if you guys need to change like the celsius and fahrenheit and 12 hours and 24 hours time you guys can press on the button in the back right here so i press the 12 hour and 24 hours let me show you guys what happened all right, so I'm not sure if I can see it or not, but it actually changed the option right here. If you guys want to change the Celsius and Fahrenheit, you guys can watch this option right here when I press the button. All right. So you definitely see that does change and it actually does work if you guys want to change from Fahrenheit to Celsius and vice versa. But that is basically everything that's on the product in terms of how to use the product. Now I'm just plugging the cable to show you guys how to charge the product and whether or not the USB option works to charge your other devices while using the product. So I'm gonna use the cable that they provide for me right here, which is USB to micro USB. All right, so I'm gonna plug in the back right here. All right, so we got the cable plugged in, but there's nowhere to show us whether or not the product is charging or not. So you just have to assume the product is charging when you guys plug in the cable. But let's test out the USB option to see whether or not those work. All right, so I'm plugging the cable first, and I'll plug the other side to my phone. All right, so you can definitely see that that works, but let's try the other one as well. So we got another cable right here. Let's plug it in. All right, so we got plugged in and we have my speaker right here. So I'm plugging the cable right here. All right, so we got the iPhone plugged in and we got my second device right here plugged in. If you can see, it definitely does work. So you can see the light pops on right here. So that is how we know when it's charging. So you can definitely use both USB outputs to actually recharge the device. Whether you guys want to charge like your speaker, your iPhone, or some other device, as long as you guys have the option for you guys to plug in a USB option, then definitely use it on here. So that is basically everything that's on the product in terms of how to use it and everything else. Let me actually bring this in a darker setting to show you guys what the product looks like and show you guys how bright the product is when it's dark versus when it's bright. And then we'll come back and talk more about product in a second. All right, so we have it in a darker setting right now. If you can see, it's actually much brighter. So definitely when you guys use this in a darker setting, you can see the light on here is super noticeable and super clear. But when you guys are using a bright room where the light is directly shining on it, it's not clear. But right now, you can see it's super clear. So you can see like the date on here, the time on here. You can see the temperature setting on here. And you guys can see like the 12 hours or 24 hours setting right here. And definitely see like the month and date right here as well. So if you guys want to adjust the brightness level on here, you just have to press the button on top. So that turns it off. That is low mode. That's medium. And that is on high. So this is the brightest setting right here if you guys want to use that option. And obviously in the bottom right here, if you guys want to use like the timer setting, the alarm option, the radio station, the white noise option right here, you can definitely do all that on here. But this is basically what the product looks like. If you can see, that actually does work and she looks really clear when it's in dark setting. All right, welcome back guys. So now you guys saw a quick test of the product, you can definitely see that actually does work. But obviously when you guys look at the test versus like how I show you guys right here, it's not like super noticeable unless it's super dark. So that's definitely something to kind of consider if you guys do want to get like an alarm clock or clock in general that doesn't have like a super bright setting on the light option on your clock. But you guys can definitely see the actual product itself, it does work if you guys want to use it like a clock option, a radio station option, a white noise machine, and also as a power bank option as well if you guys want to use that to recharge the devices. But now that we have unboxing and testing the product, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for these clock in particular, I would definitely have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want one of these, one of these, especially if you guys want everything that I mentioned that's included in the product, such as the clock option, the alarm clock option, the power bank option, and also the white noise option as well. If you guys want all of that, then this product is super worth it. But then obviously for those guys who don't want or don't need one or have need one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive. 
be you and i'll see you guys in the next episode of is it worth it peace